What is Web 3.0? How will it transform our lives? In Web 3.0, data is owned by the users themselves and won't be destroyed by centralized servers. So, for example, in blockchain games, the coins in your account are actually tokens issued on the blockchain, and your items are also stored on the chain in the form of NFTs. And guess what? The blockchain will never disappear. Even if the game company shuts down, the rewards you worked hard to get will still exist and remain functional in other games. If you're not familiar with tokens or NFTs, don't worry. We've got some awesome videos on NFTs that will help you better understand Web 3.0's connection with tokens and NFTs. Besides, Web 3.0 encourages users to create value. In Web 2.0, platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter seem to make all the money, while creators who make amazing content don't get their fair share. These platforms set the rules of the game, and they end up keeping most of the advertising revenue, leaving creators just a small piece of the pie. That's not cool! But in Web 3.0, platforms are controlled by users through something called Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, or DAOs for short. Unlike regular companies, these DAOs are all about democracy and transparency. There's no CEO or boss, and everyone has an equal say. Take YouTube for example. In a Web 3.0 version of YouTube, all users would be running the platform. They would issue a currency called YouTube Token YT, which would be distributed to every user and creator, making them shareholders of YouTube. Then, placing ads on the platform would require payment in YT, and creators who make awesome videos that get more views and likes would earn more YT. Plus, when there's a major decision to be made about the platform, everyone gets to vote based on how much YT he or she holds. So, the more YT you have, the more say you'll get in what happens on the platform. With Web 3.0, Creators are motivated to generate top-notch content not only for personal gains, but also for the progress of the platform. In our hypothetical case, the more the platform improves, the more valuable YT will become compared to other tokens on the blockchain. Web 3.0 also promotes censorship-resistant, decentralized digital identities did, in addition to the benefits of data sovereignty and DAOs. For instance, an Ethereum account can access multiple DeFi applications without the registration of a new account or identity. Once authorized by users, the data can be utilized by other apps. For instance, you will be able to use items from Game B while playing Game A. This creates new opportunities for future applications. Security and privacy are vital for Web 3.0, and it has strict requirements for both. Many big companies, such as Google and TikTok, misuse user data by recommending ads based on our browsing history, which is supposed to remain private. Web 3.0 brings many practical benefits, and if you've become interested in it after watching our video, you can try out some Web 3.0 projects on Ethereum and become a pioneering Web 3.0 contributor. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you think our video helpful, click the like button and share it with more crypto users. You can also hit subscribe and learn more about the crypto world. See you in the next video.